the proponents of the spinning basketball in the vacuum of space claimed that the Greek called Eratosthenes figured out the circumference of the Earth about 2,500 years ago. This is a joke because this claim is immediately debunked when in the very next sentence they claim that no written work of Eratosthenes survives today. We see a pattern here where the globalists claim something but they can't back it up with the facts or with hard evidence. So in this video I will prove that the measurements of Eratosthenes were reverse engineered by modern lying scientists. Eratosthenes made five assumptions that were not good enough for his, for his experiment. Number one, that Alexandria and Syene lie on the same meridian. Number two, that light rays from the sun which strike the earth are parallel. Number three, that, that the distance between Alexandria and Syene is 5,000 stades. Four, that the angle formed by the shadow and the star in Alexandria of the summer solstice is equal to 1 50th of a circle and find that the Earth is a sphere. We can discount number five that the Earth is a sphere because it is not. There's a big problem with number three uh, where the distance is concerned. Now almost all the websites that uh, cites Eratosthenes experiment say the same thing. And for distance, uh, just read this paragraph. Here's where things get a bit tricky. Eratosthenes had the distance between the two cities measured. These records show that the distance was found to be 5,000 stadia. The stadium, plural stadia, was a common distance unit of the time. Unfortunately, there was not a universal standard length for the stadium. So we don't know exactly which version of the stadium Eratosthenes used, and therefore are not exactly sure how accurate his solution was. He may have been correct to within less than 1%, a remarkable ac accomplishment, or if it was actually a different stadium that he used, he may have been off by about 16%. That is still pretty good. The actual polar circumference of the of Earth is just a bit over 40,000 kilometers, which is about 24,860 miles. That is not good enough. This is from the website window to universe.org. Meanwhile on uh, maa.org which is the Mathematical Association of America they state that there is little doubt that Eratosthenes got this figure directly from his earlier map of the known world. How he initially obtained this value is a controversial question which may never be answered. But it is doubtful that Eratosthenes actually measured the distance himself. So there you go. They don't know if the measurement of stadia is by donkeys or by camels walking those distances. So that can be used as evidence. Wikipedia tells us that unfortunately 
there are only fragments left of his works after the destruction of the library of Alexandria. So they're basically pulling everything out of their collective arses to make the Eratosthenes argument. And if you ever use Eratosthenes as a figure or as citation, then you are using appeal to false authority. As it says here, this fallacy is, is used when a person uses a false authority as evidence for his or her claim. That's all this is. What they did was to reverse engineer the facts once they knew the distance from Alexandria to Syene and they picked these two spots because they were 500 miles apart and they knew they had to multiply it by 50. So I would even go as far as saying that uh, this was concocted in the late 20th century. These are all made up by modern lying scientists to promote the, the globe. It's all lies.